you know, what did you just see there? And, you know, how, how did you just feel in like that flow of the game? Um, well, you know, um, I got to give credit to, um, to, to Jackson Hayes, Larry Nance, some of the guys, um, some of our role players that were really, really good tonight. Um, they made my job easier. I just threw the basketball to the rim and they went and caught it. Um, Jackson was really running out on the break tonight and catching the ball and finishing. Uh, Larry setting good screens. Um, everybody came in and did a, a, a job of just paying attention to detail and executing the offense uh, really well. Um, they just made me look good. And I, yeah, in, in the fourth quarter, I think you guys put up 35. I think at one point you made seven straight shots as a team. What did you like about uh, your, your execution in the fourth? Everything was flowing. You know, everybody was effective on the floor. Uh, all five all five made something happen, whether it was offensively or, deep or defensively. Jose came in and did a good job knocking down big shots. Murphy did a good job on the defense. And um, we just, we were really, really connected today. Um, and where we are, um, we, we can run off seven. We can get three stops in a row. Um, that's just us continuing to get better. Yeah, and after that Clippers game, you talked about, you know, wanting to be on that playoff stage, wanting to show people what you can do. You, you know, how much have you been waiting for these type of moments to have this type of game, you know, on the bigger stage? <laughs> Six years. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, um, you know, um, throughout this year, I had confidence that we would, we would be here. Um, I didn't know what it would look like, but we continue to get better um, every single day with um, – really being positive every single day and helping guys and teaching guys every single day. Um, and I just feel like, I feel like it's our time. It's our time to continue to get better, continue to get better for this organization, continue to build um, for, for next game. And just, um, we have a, we have a really, really good group of guys that want to get better. So to be on this stage and continue to have successes um, is, is great for us. And what did you kind of find in that second half that allowed you to get going, start hitting shots, and, you know, carry the offense? Pace. Uh, we were really aggressive trying to get downhill. Like I said, everybody was effective, and, and it kind of opened up the floor a little bit. Uh, we made everybody players, and um, I was able to attack and get downhill, be strong with the basketball, and, and some of my shots just fell down. Larry said, uh, he tells us every game, when y'all are in warm blood, like your handshake line, he tells you you're the – you're the best player on the floor. What, is, what does that do for you to to hear that from him right before you're going out for a game uh, every night? Yeah, it, it, it builds confidence for me. Um, it shows that my teammates believe in me and um, whatever that I do out there, they're going to follow. So I try to make sure that my energy is good. I try to make sure that I start off the game the right way and uh, knowing it's going to trickle down to everybody else. So. Um, it's, it means I'm being heavily watched, and I got to go out there and do the right things to make sure um, that our team has a chance. Going back to the, the call and plays thing, when you were in that groove in the, in the third and fourth quarter, what is that like knowing that your coach has that level of confidence in you? I know you were talking about how you know the guys made you look good but with some of the, the makes they were doing, but what does that say to you when Willie gives, it just trusts you in the moments? Go go do what you got to do. It shows we're growing, you know. It's good to have a, a trust from the head coach, and knowing that any play that he call, I can audible. Any anything that I see on the floor, he, he believes in it, and um, it's great. I mean, we have constant dialogue about the game all the time. So for him to um, hand it over and let me have the will a little bit sometimes is is great for my confidence, and I think it it also helps his confidence a lot. You know? Just knowing that he has somebody on the floor that looks at the game exactly like him. He's he's you've mentioned it before. He's mentioned it before. Those late night texts. Does he always answer when you text him late at night with with these game clips? Or you gotta you wake up the text from Willie in the morning when you're you're sending uh, stuff late. Well, last night I didn't think he was gonna text me, but it was like twelve. But uh, he actually hit me back at like twelve thirty, um, just talking back and forth about some of the things that I saw on film. Um, it's always it's always a confidence booster, like I said, just hearing from him. And, um, he's, all, he's always giving good feedback. So um, that's good, even with CJ. CJ is talking to me more than I'm talking to him just about the game. So it's uh, it's a good thing to have around. CJ mentioned, you know, we've already talked, we talked about your film watching and how much you do that. Have you, have you 
Has there been an up, like, have you done that more this year? Have you watched more film than, than maybe you have in, in, in the past? Um, I think it's the same amount. I think I'm just looking at it a different way now, um, kind of simplifying, trying to figure out um, different different ways that I can make the game easier for myself and um, the way the ways that I can actually make the film easier for myself. So I've just take, taken a different approach of how I, how I do, do things. Yeah, you and CJ, you know, technically haven't played that many games together, but it seems like y'all have been able to click, you know, extremely quickly. Just what have y'all done to kind of get to that point where y'all know how to complement each other on the court? Constant communication. And I think we we both have the same goal in mind, and that's, that's winning. Um, um, incredible score. Um, really knows the game, but... We all have one goal in mind, not just me and CJ, but everybody else that's on in the organization. We have one goal in mind that's winning, winning each basketball game. So I think that's that's why we've clicked so well. It's not it's not about us. It's about the, the whole team. So um, I think uh, he notices that and uh, we all notice that. So he's um, he's been um, a fit as soon as he can come in. And I asked CJ the same thing, but uh, how much are you looking forward to seeing what the SKC looks like on Friday? Man, this shit going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. You know, um, our fans helps, our fans has helped, helped us a lot um, throughout the season, and especially seeing those fans in the playing game, it really um, shows how much they love us. So I'm, a, I'm expecting a big crowd going back to the Smoothie King and um, them helping us get another win. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh.